The surgical department is the second largest clinical department stationed in Nairobi. We train our general surgeons and have graduated more than 32 over the years and shortly starting orthopedic surgical training as well as neurosurgical and pediatric surgery and urology in the next uh, two years. The surgical curriculum is a five-year program uh, split into two uh, major parts. What we call basic surgical training, which takes two years, and higher surgical training, which takes three years. The basic surgical training is a series of eight rotations, which are known worldwide over, which take three months each. And they start with uh, three months in ICU and three months in the accident and emergency, then followed by three months in neurosurgery, three months in uh, general surgery, three months in pediatrics, three months in cardiothoracics, three months in plastics, um, three months in orthopedics, um, and uh, finally uh, three months in uh, urology. Once you complete this part, you sit uh, examination which is called the part one, equivalent to what is called the MRCS, or the membership examination, which then allows you to become a higher surgical trainee. The higher surgical trainee now, depending on the specialty, in this case, general surgery, because that's the current program, you're going to spend 36 months rotating in the core general surgical disciplines, which are divided into upper gastrointestinal, uh, hepatobiliary, colorectal, vascular and then what we call endocrine and breast and then there's a associated what are called allied specialties which are closely related to general surgery in which you spend some time in that is cardiothoracic urology and pediatric surgery as a senior rotation and then we also allow three months elective rotation which is uh, where the residents go to a peripheral hospital and join a surgeon and uh, you know get to do quite a bit in a what we call rural practice uh, before they come back. Um, at the end of five years they write an exit examination, they also complete an, a thesis of some research project and then they graduate with an MMED uh, in general surgery. I joined the college because um, one I after interaction with my colleagues who had who had begun training in this particular college, I saw the level of growth and uh, the difference compared to other programs which I had compared with in the region. The best part of training in this institution is the opportunity and privilege to work in a world-class uh, facility and also to get exposure and, also, and interact with some of the best uh, faculty that we have in the region. We have 26 full-time faculty across all subspecialties of surgery and uh, every single specialty that you can think of is fully manned by highly trained faculty who have worked in many places all over the world. We also have a very close uh, faculty to student ratio so students are highly supervised, a, a, a condition which you consider a huge advantage as it allows the learning curve to be attacked in a very a safe manner. On top of that, it's a paid program where uh, you know, students benefit from a salary and therefore they're able to concentrate on their studies. And they also enjoy a wide benefit and network uh, of other sister institutions. We are generally resource rich in terms of equipment, capital, and access to latest in terms of technological know-how. My biggest takeaway from my residency, I would say, is to always show up no matter how challenging the situation is, because that is what will make the difference at the end of the day. We're very busy surgeons, but we always make time. So first of all, we do have a strong mentorship program. Uh, uh, the residents are uh, assigned to mentors and mentees. At least once a quarter, we have a sit down and a meal we share with the residents between the, the chair of the department and the program director. And uh, we also have occasion to at least once in a while go on hike, maybe do some zip lining and budget jumping and uh, that type of thing. Residency can be quite challenging, especially in terms of work-life balance. Um, and what I try to do to overcome this is trying to be present and at the moment uh, in any of the spheres that I decide to undertake.